What is up guys, JPR Tech here and today I'm afraid this video is not a tutorial, it's not a review, I'm actually asking for help. I really guys want your help with this magic lantern problem I'm having and the problem I'm having is with the audio drift. I don't know if it already started happening now but around 20 to 30 seconds into the video shooting in 4.8k audio drifts drastically i mean it becomes unrepairable i can't even fix it in post in davinci resolve actually a plug in i'm gonna have a diy on or i'm gonna have a tutorial video how to fix when audio drift a little bit but in this case it's just totally unusable now i do realize that shooting in 4.8k we are limited to only 22 frames or was it 23 yeah it was 23 frames per second i don't know if that one frame makes a big difference and creates a drift. I have no idea, but right now this must be so irritating. So the only workaround that I have found is to actually in MOV, just exporting ProRes. Now, the only reason why I don't like exporting in ProRes is because it's so time consuming. It takes a lot of resources and i'm sure it's clearly visible which one um, you're watching on right now because when i'm in the dng one the colors are different even the sharpness everything just a looks a little bit different when i export from the dng directly and as opposed to the apple prores right now we're back to the dng and do you see the drift is it happening right now um another workaround I tried doing but it actually didn't work is recording externally using my iPhone even that doesn't work trying to sync in post they wouldn't align correctly fixing the I tried fixing DaVinci Resolve and it still wouldn't work so good it was just really really hard to fix so please if anyone out there in the interwebs in YouTube anybody knows how to fix DNG lossless with the audio file to be able to sync correctly hit me up on the DM or just comment down below anything I really appreciate your guys' help and this is just a quick video giving you a outcry a crying for help and also if you are suffering through this problem then you know the workaround just take your time exporting in Apple ProRes and with that said, I'm only having this issue with the 4.8, also the 4.5K uh, UHD. And this is all on the 2 by 1 aspect ratio, the 2.35 by 1 aspect ratio, which is the 5.2K, does not suffer for, from any audio drift whatsoever. And neither do the 4K versions, whether it's the 4.6K, the 4.4K, I don't have trouble with those. Only this one, the two by one aspect ratio. I guess it takes a lot of processing power for the camera, or maybe it's the whole minus one frame thing that is causing some issues. I have no idea, but this and the 4.5K are the two modes that I have trouble with audio drift. Other than that, I have no problem with audio. But if you know the reason why, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know the answer so I could keep using this mode because as of now this is presently my favorite mode to shoot in uh, whether it's b-roll outside it's just so sharp so crisp and it's kind of like a DCI aspect ratio it matches well with my Fujifilm DCI the 4k DCI they look very very similar and I just like it because we got a lot of horizontal and vertical pixels to work with more than the 5.2 well no correction the 5.2k does have a lot more wide it has that anamorphic style look but it just doesn't have the height it's just so squished i can't even use it on a shoot like this i'm doing right now but 4.k can do it so the 2 by 1 aspect ratio and the 16 by 9 aspect ratio are my favorite aspect ratios to use here in my home studio so just take this whole video with a grain of salt and again if you know the answer i would love to know and if you did answer i just want to tell you right now straight face to face thank you thank you so much and if not please hurry because i want to fix this as soon as i can 
I really don't want to keep exporting in Apple Re ProRes, which takes forever to export on my M1 Mac Mini. Yes, my M1 Mac Mini will thank you for all your help. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in another video. Happy shootings.